All right, so now that we have our metal portion and piece blocked out, we're ready to actually start detailing this. And so let's go ahead and bring that into our scene here and let's turn off everything that we don't need. And let's go ahead and focus in on what we're going to be doing here. So we need to go ahead and add a bunch of different um, geometry here so that we can go ahead and block in all the detail that's actually on this metal portion here. As you can see that those buttons on the top, also the mute button here on the side, and then on the other side there's a plus and minus button that we'll go ahead and model as well and, and bring those in. So let's go ahead and basically add all the geometry here that we need or what we think we'll need and then we'll start detailing it out. So let's go ahead here and uh, bring in our insert edge loop tool which can be found under the edit mesh menu near the top here. So let's just go ahead and select this and let's just start drawing out some edge loops here and we need to definitely draw one here in the middle and that's because it's going to be easier for us to go ahead and block out all that detail if we have this all um, lined up right so let's just go ahead and add one here at the top and one at the bottom here and we need to add one on each side and make sure I draw it on the right side there and let's go ahead and just draw in for this little indention here and let's just go ahead and draw that as you see I'm not going to draw um, one in the middle here on each side and that's because I'm simply just going to scale these vertices down so that it'll fit this hole and then we'll just go ahead and shape around that hole. For the black piece here I'm going to go ahead and model these in. Um, I know on the original four, um, iPhone 4S there's actually separation but I want to go ahead and model these in and that's because I want to add um, a little bit of different feel to it whenever we go to texture so I'm going to make sure I add in the geometry for these as well. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add in the geometry here for what is our top button here. And we'll just draw one in the middle, and then we'll draw one on the, the side there. Let's go ahead here onto our one side, and we need to draw it in for the mute button here. And I need to make sure that I draw it on the, uh, on the right side here, so let's go ahead and just draw that in. And then we'll come down here to the bottom and just making sure that we get that in correctly. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch back to object mode here. And we're going to switch our top view to our bottom view here. Okay. Just making sure that I'm going to draw these edge loops in the right area and I don't want to draw them on the top. Okay, so let's just go back and select our insert edge loop tool here and just draw it on the bottom and it doesn't look like I drew it on the bottom there so let's go ahead and just draw it there okay and then we'll do the same thing here for the other side okay let's go back to object mode here and you see I didn't really draw it in for the USB port yet and I will let's go back and go into our side view here and we're gonna change this from the right side to our left side here and just making sure that we go ahead and draw it on the right side here all I'm gonna simply do is just select some faces here and just extract these off real quick and then I'll just go ahead and remerge them after I draw in our edge loop detail and the layer name doesn't necessarily matter simply because I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, add some geometry in here so let's go ahead and select our insert edge loop tool here and I'm gonna draw some verts in here for our plus and minus button Okay. as you can see I'm drawing it out in a specific way so I have one on the top one on the bottom and that's just so that I can definitely go ahead and get all this uh, detail cut in fairly quickly okay so now let's go ahead and start shaping these and since I have the um, the one side already hidden I'm just gonna go ahead and shape these real quick 
and then I'll go ahead and start shaping on the other side let's go ahead and just shape these in real quick and just go ahead and scale them down scale them about back out a little bit there okay let's do the same thing here for what is going to be the minus buttonhole Okay, so let's go ahead and draw in a couple extra edge loops here for this little black piece. But I mean, as, as you can see, there's nothing here, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and actually add this um, whenever we uh, get ready to texture. So whenever we go to texture it, it's going to give us a little bit of different feel. So let's come back here to our image plane attributes. And let's just add this to the just bring back in our left view here or our right view sorry and let's go ahead here and as you can see bring back in the top image plane here bring back the other side of our model here just go ahead and delete that layer and I'll go ahead and remerge these making sure that I also merge the verts just to be on the safe side here and making sure that nothing is going to get selected and I'm just going to simply draw an edge loop just to make sure that uh, all those verts are merged for sure okay so just go ahead and deselect all these vertices go back into our top view here and start working on the detail for this button here just make sure that I don't select any verts on the bottom there so let's just go ahead and scale these in Oop, and I selected one too many verts there go ahead and scale these vertices in And we'll just go ahead and deselect these metal ones. Scale those that way. And that looks good. So let's go ahead here and block in what is going to be our um, headphone jack or our speaker jack here it looks like. Just selecting some of these vertices. We'll deselect those middle ones and we will just go ahead and scale these in just a tiny little bit there. And that looks okay. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here for this little indention hole so we need to go ahead and select all of these verts we're gonna go ahead and scale them down just making sure that these are gonna fit properly here okay we'll go ahead and deselect the middle ones there and then we'll just go ahead and scale them down and we'll go ahead and scale them in okay and as you can see we have to just do this right side here make sure I deselect that middle one there and same thing just go ahead and scale them in oops need to make sure I select those middle ones okay we'll go ahead and scale them in and then we can go ahead and deselect those middle ones and just simply scale them down a little bit there 
and as you can see that's going to give us a our detail that we need so let's go ahead and change our top view here and bring back in our uh, our bottom view okay so now we need to go ahead and select the vertices here for the bottom portion and I'm simply just going to go ahead and extract the top here so I can make sure that I'm only going to be selecting those bottom vertices and I need to just go ahead and extract it just go ahead and add that to its own layer and hiding it doesn't really matter so let's go ahead and select our vertices here for the bottom okay so let's go ahead and select these ones and go ahead and just move that out a little bit go ahead and do the same thing thing here for the other side let's just select our verts and I'm gonna make sure I grab these on both sides here so I can scale them down um, pretty much the same Let's go ahead and scale these down. Oops, and I selected one too many there. Scale those down. And you can see that I'm making it a little bit larger than normal. And this is because whenever I go to inset these faces, I can add a couple extra edge loops so that it's going to maintain its shape a little bit more um, uniformly, a little better. So we got those placed. Let's go ahead and adjust these verts here. that looks good so now I'm gonna go ahead here and add our USB ports edges just making sure that I straighten those out okay and do the same thing here on the other side also making sure that I'm gonna go ahead here and add the right amount of geometry here for what is going to be the star nut holes and just go ahead and adjust these vertices and edges properly so that they're straight here that way it's just going to be easier for me to go ahead and make those holes so I'm just going to grab all three of these verts just straighten them out these three here as well. Go ahead and straighten those out and I'll go ahead and scale these down and make sure I grab the right verts here in the middle and this is just mainly going to be you know vertice adjustment here and it'll just take a little bit of time to get all these vertices pretty much placed properly okay so let's come over here and do the same thing for this side just straighten out the edge loop add one on each side here so I can simply make that star knot hole a little quicker and it's going to be easier for me to go ahead and make it so same thing here just grab these vertices and I just want to grab these that side because I want to match them to each one so that they're both pretty much perfect and this will really make um, creating that star hole that much easier and that looks okay so let's go ahead and adjust some of the vertices here and basically just select the corners scale them down scale them in and just go ahead and scale those tops down a little bit And we'll 
do the same thing here for the other side. Scale these down. Scale them in. And those will be fairly good circles whenever we go to um, inset those or extrude them in. So now let's go ahead and bring our geometry back here. Let's go ahead and remerge them. And make sure we go ahead and merge all these vertices. And I'm going to go ahead and draw an edge loop just to make sure that it's going to go all the way around and it looks like it does. Okay, so now we can basically start editing our geometry and extruding our geometry in. So now it's going to be that much easier to go ahead and create all the geometry that we need. So first thing I want to go ahead and do here is I'm going to simply delete the layer 2 here since we don't need it. Definitely going to go ahead and save the scene here just in case I make a mistake. So iPhone 3, okay. And now we can go ahead and start um, uh, blocking in the, the rest of our detail and, and start um, duplicating faces. And in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and continue detailing the rest of this metal portion. So come on back and um, watch as we do that.